Welcome to Lecture Online. Next, we're going to do some interesting examples of how to actually apply logarithmic functions for things such as finding the age of an artifact when the equation is given that the age, the time has, that has elapsed, is equal to minus 8,250 8, times the natural log of the amount that you currently have left over divided by the original amount. And of course, here we're talking about carbon-14 that radio radioactively decays. So let's assume that the amount left over relative to the original amount is only 25% of the original sample. So to find the time, we can then say that the time is equal to minus 8,250 times the natural log of A is now going to be 0 0.25 times A sub naught divided by A sub naught. So what we're saying here is that the quantity of carbon-14 that we have in our current sample is only one quarter of what it was when it was first made. All right, let's go ahead and figure out what that is equal to. First of all, you can see that the A sub naught cancels. This becomes over 1. So we take 0.25 times the natural log, take the natural log of that, and we multiply that times 8,250 times a minus. And so we know then that the artifact has now an age of 11,437 years. Of course, in real life, there's all kinds of scientific uncertainty in the measurements and so forth, so there would be a plus or minus, but just for the sake of argument, just for the sake of applying this kind of equation, you can see that natural log functions have an interesting application, in this case, to find the age of an artifact using carbon-14 dating. And that's how that is done.